Hi, welcome to Create Art with the Jazz. My name is Jasmine, and my mission here is to create, inspire, and motivate. So let's spin the wheel to see what today's challenge will be. So today we are going to try our hands out at airbrushing. If you've never done this before, be patient. It takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, and a lot of years to get it right. So we're going to start with the materials. First we need an airbrush. An airbrush hose, of course, to go along with the airbrush. A compressor. We'll also need Createx airbrush paint, as well as a mask so that you're not breathing in the paint fumes. We're also going to use a scuff pad to add some texture to the drum head so that we can get the paint to stick to it. And then at the end, we're going to clear coat it with spray can clear coats. So we're going to start by gently scrubbing the drum head. You can also do this on metal or plastics. This is a very fine scouring pad that I'm using. So I'm just going to go along and just go over it very thoroughly and make sure that I'm adding texture to the drum head. If you're airbrushing on plastics or metals and you don't add that texture to it, the paint can easily peel off. So make sure you're sanding that down really well. After we're done with the sanding, we want to just take it and wash it very thoroughly. We're gonna make sure that we get all the residue off so that we are not including that into our design. So we're gonna make sure that our drum head is thoroughly clean. We're going to rinse it very well and we had to allow it to dry. So I let the drum head dry, but it was still a little wet in some places. So I'm just taking my airbrush and blowing the water droplets away so that the water does not affect our paint. If you're painting on top of a wet surface, sometimes it can add extra textures into your paint that you don't want and it can also pretty much ruin the design. So I'm making sure that that's dry. Because this item is black, we want the words to stand out. And we're also going to paint this in a color that matches the rest of the drum set. So our first step is to add white. I'm going to do his name in white first and that just adds contrast to the background of the piece so that the words can stand out. So you wanna go along, take your time, add a nice coat of white and allow it to dry. Don't jump right to the next color first because this is a plastic. It does not soak in the paint. So it just repels the paint. The paint sits on top of it pretty much. So allow it time to dry before you put the next coat. So I'm adding another coat just to make sure that it's covered very well and that the words will show up very nicely. So I'm just going along and I'm spraying the burgundy over the white. Another thing to mention is to not go too close into the paint. If you go very, very close, the paint will splash back at you and it can also create pools or puddles onto the artwork. So you don't want that. When you're airbrushing on metals or plastics, take your time. Just go very slowly and make sure that you're giving the paint enough time to dry in between coats. The color has not taken on the exact color that I want yet. So I'm going to add an extra coat just to make sure that that burgundy gets darker and make sure that it doesn't look like pink or bright red. Make sure you follow your first lines and stay on track with the first design that you made. So just go over that thoroughly and when you're done, you're going to want to take a blow dryer and blow dry it on medium to low heat so that when you add the next layer of paint, it doesn't splash or pull onto the surface. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going over it with my blow dryer and making sure that I'm getting every little spot. You don't want to miss spots and you don't want the paint to run onto the artwork. So make sure you get every spot from side to side and all around. And next we're going to add the color black as an outline. This defines the word so that it stands out. Airbrush paint can tend to look a little fuzzy. So we don't want a very fuzzy looking name on the drum head. So just to make it look more neat and professional, we're going to go around it with a thin black outline. And we'll also add some shadows and depth to that. So if you follow my other videos, you know I like to add dimension to my words. Even though it's 2D art, I like to give it volume and I like for it to stand out. So it's always nice to add a outline. It doesn't have to be black every time, but in this case I'm going to use black because it goes with the background. So just add a darker color around the word or a contrasting color around the word to make it stand out. Make sure that you keep your line work even and consistent. You don't want really big lines mixing with really thin lines. And if you do have that, make sure you're putting the variety in the same spots on each word. So as long as it's consistent, you can be unique and creative with your design. But just keep that in mind. If you're having a shadow, make sure that your shadows are going in the same direction. You don't want to have a shadow on the left and then one on the right. The consistency in the shadows is what gives the words a very professional look. If you happen to have any overspray in the background that you didn't want, you can go back around and airbrush the same color on top of it to blend that away. So I'm just adding dimension to the shadow. Now I'm making it a little bit thicker at the bottom. That gives the word weight and heaviness at the bottom. And it also gives it an illusion of having a third dimension. going in now with some black shadows on the bottom half of the words. I'm just adding that in very lightly. I don't want it too dark because I don't want to go too much darker than the original color that I planned on having. And I'm just adding some black shadows, black shadows throughout the top of the words just to give it a fun design and to bring it out. In the next step, we're going to highlight those shadows with white to make the words really pop and have more volume and dimension. So you're going to follow all of the shadows that you made on top and just add in white. When you're adding this in, it's good to go in a circular motion or go very slowly. Because we're still airbrushing on plastic, it's very slippery. And if you put too much at one time or put too much in one spot, it will actually pull and make a puddle on top of the word. And we don't want that. So at this point, you can be creative as long as you're being consistent in your design. Just have fun with it. Add the highlights wherever you want to and just keep it consistent. You'll just have to get the hang of this over time. You don't want to add too much or too little. And just make sure that you're adding some highlights to each individual letter in the word. Now to make the overall design stand out, I'm adding a white star at the bottom. And that just gives it a little bit of fun and liveliness. 
So add the white star and then I'm going to add the burgundy back over that. Remember we have to have the white first so that the burgundy can show up. And in between coats, I'm going to blow dry that again to make sure that the work, to make sure that the design is not too wet. If it's too wet, the paint can run, splatter, or even orange peel. I'm adding in a few coats. <clears throat> I'm adding in a few coats of the burgundy, and I'm noticing that it's a little fuzzy, so I'm going to go back with some black and fade a little black into the design so that it's nice and neat and looks more professional. So I'm just making sure I'm cutting back into the design. You want to be very careful at this point because if you go over the wrong parts of the design, it will change the whole look of it. So just take your time on this part. Again, apply low pressure and don't get too close to the piece because the paint will splash back. And now I'm just adding in some white highlights on top of the design just to make it stand out. Again, this makes it more vibrant, it gives more fun and life to the piece, and it also makes for a funner piece to look at. Now the paint has dried over the words, so I'm going to go in and add a few more highlights on top of the same highlights so that they stand out. Sometimes when the paint dries, the color can become a little faded looking. So we wanna make sure that we go back in and make those colors nice and bright if that's what we want. If you want your colors to be brighter, you have to add in more layers if it's on top of a dark color. So before our final step, you really want to make sure that the paint is completely dry. Just go around the piece and check to see if you've missed any spots or if you need to add anything to the design. This next paint is spray paint and it has fumes that can be harmful. So I'm going to take this project outside and set it up. And what you want to do is spray back and forth even layers with the next layer overlapping the previous layer.
Let the piece lay flat down so that the paint does not run. On this last step, you do not want to use a blow dryer either because of the fumes. You just want to let it air dry. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you can be notified of more videos like this. We are going to cover all topics, art, everything from sketching to painting to airbrushing to digital paint. So if you're an artist or you just enjoy the process, join me every day on this channel. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.